Welcome to our channel, Countryside Travels, from mountains, beaches, deserts, and other beautiful places we help you in planning your travel. In today's journey, we take you to Oman. We request you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. If you like the video, let's begin our travel. Oman, officially known as the Sultanate of Oman, is a country located in the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula in Southwest Asia. It is bordered by the United Arab Emirates to the northwest, Saudi Arabia to the west, and Yemen to the southwest. Oman also shares maritime borders with Iran and Pakistan. Here are some key details about Oman. Muscat is the capital of Oman and it has a population of approximately 5.5 million people. Arabic is the official language. Islam is the predominant religion with the majority of Oman's population adhering to the Ibadi sect of Islam, which is distinct from the Sunni and Shia branches. Talking about the government, Oman is an absolute monarchy ruled by Sultan Haitham bin Tariq al Said, who assumed power in January 2020 after the death of Sultan Qaboos bin Said al Said, who had ruled Oman for nearly 50 years. Oman's economy is heavily dependent on oil and gas exports. We have landed in Muscat and today we directly head to our base for the trip and that is Sur. We take the Muscat Sur Coastal Road. The 200 km stretch from Muscat to Sur has some of the region's most popular attractions which makes it the perfect way to experience what Oman has to offer. While some of these places work as day trips from Muscat, a full road trip allows you to experience the best of both Muscat, Sur and everything in between. But as I said, today we will just head to Sur and take a break for the day. Located in Sharkia, the southeastern region of the Arabian Peninsula, the Muscat Sur Coastal Road offers visitors a glimpse of old and new Oman. A very good morning talking about this city in Oman. Sur is known for its seafaring. Sur is a mid-sized place in the region of southeastern governorate in Oman, with a population of approximately 71,152 people. What a wonderful day today. The weather is pleasant with temperature around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Today is our second day in historic city of Sur, and we will today head to Ras Al Had. Turtle Beach. In between our guide, Ashish from India told us about a beach with clear blue waters. En route to Ras Al Had. It is the Al Shia beach. Because of its location on the Gulf of Oman, the city was an excellent location for trade with other civilizations such as Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. The British East India Company built the lighthouse in 1864 to protect ships travelling to and from the port of Sur. The city was also home of Sinbad, that legendary mythical Arabian sailor, although Sahar, another Omani city, claims Sinbad as their own. The Sur people have a traditional. Men typically wear the dishdasha, a long white collarless gown that reaches the ankles with a kuma headscarf. Women cover their bodies with the abaya, a long black loose fitting dress, and a headscarf. Traders and sailors have called into Sur for centuries. Sur Oman boasts a rich history dating back to the 6th century. It was an important center for maritime trade and shipbuilding, with its famous Tau ships being used for trade across the Indian Ocean. In fact, Sur 
was an essential centre for trade with East Africa. The Dhaos manufactured in the city travelled as far as China and were even used for pearl fishing. situated in the city of Sur, offers a captivating coastal experience along the shores of the Arabian Sea. The beach features a sandy shoreline that extends invitingly along the clear blue waters, creating a serene and picturesque atmosphere. With its natural beauty and peaceful surroundings, Al Shia Beach provides an ideal setting for relaxation and enjoyment. The holy month of Ramadan is currently on and you will find no food placed, restaurant and shops open and also all tourist activities are closed for most part of the day. So it wasn't surprising at all that we were the only ones in the entire beach. Omani culture is influenced by its Arab heritage. With a blend of indigenous traditions and practices, traditional Omani clothing, music, dance, and cuisine reflect this rich cultural heritage. Oman is becoming increasingly popular as a tourist destination, attracting visitors with its historical sites, including forts and castles, as well as its natural attractions, such as pristine beaches, wadis, valleys, and rugged mountains. Muscat, the capital city, is known for its beautiful architecture, bustling souks, markets, Overall, Oman is a country with a rich history, diverse culture and abundant natural beauty, making it an intriguing destination for travellers and investors alike. Do subscribe to our channel, share the video. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Raz Al Had is a village in Ashakaya district in Oman. It is on a point at the entrance to the Gulf of Oman. The beach is about 60 kilometers from Sur City, the capital of the Ashakaya South Governorate. 
This beach has been home to human activity since the third millennium BC and serves as a safe haven for ships from storms. Fighter planes took shelter in it in during World War II and the marks of the runways still exist today. This beach has been proclaimed a turtle reserve. Turtles come here, especially to Ras Al Jin's beach in Wilayat Ras Al Had, to lay an estimated number of from 6,000 to 13,000 eggs. The beach is distinguished by its spectacular bays and rock formations, which are havens for large numbers of birds. The beaches at Ras Al Had and nearby Ras. Al Jins are known as a breeding ground for green sea turtles. The easternmost peninsula in Oman hosts one of the world's most important populations of green turtles. On 23rd April 1996, Ras Al Jins Turtle Reserve is designated as a nature reserve. Indian intelligence radar. There is an Indian listening post at Ras Al Had and berthing rights for the Indian Navy at Muscat Naval Base. We are indeed having a great time in Oman, and now it's time to dive into the Arabian Sea. As you can see, the water is crystal clear, and it's so clear that you can easily see the fishes swimming close to the surface. And sadly, the turtles are nowhere to be seen. The best time to visit Oman is between October and April when the temperatures are warm, 17 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, yet not too hot. The country has a reliably warm climate, so as long as you avoid the scorching summer months between June and August, you can visit any time. Those who wish to visit Oman can apply for a tourist visa. Under this visa, there are two different Oman visas for Indians. First, the tourist visit visa 10D 26A, which allows a stay up to 10 days and is valid for one month. And the second is the tourist visit visa 30D 26B, which allows a stay of up to 30 days. Besides oil and natural gas, Oman is rich in other natural resources such as copper, limestone, gypsum and marble. Oman has diverse landscapes, including deserts, mountains, and coastline. The country is known for its stunning natural beauty, including the majestic Al Hajar Mountains and Wahiba Sands Desert and Wahiba. It possesses significant oil reserves and has developed its infrastructure and industries around the extraction and export of hydrocarbons. In recent years, Oman has been making efforts to diversify its economy with a focus on tourism, manufacturing, and logistics. So with this, the day comes to end, and what a day we had, though we were disappointed to have not seen the turtles, which usually can be seen after May, June. Our journey in this wonderful Arab nation, Oman, will continue as we explore some amazing places around Sur and Muska. Keep watching, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Countryside Travels.